you've worked both in the private sector in the States, you've worked in the public sector. How, how is the convergence between the, the mindset of private sector operations and public sector operations and how they converge to bring the change in the adoption of technology? Because you're doing some really good stuff within the public sector from what I understand. How is that convergence happening and what are some of the challenges you're running into in the convergence? Uh, I, I think fundamentally th th there's a bit of an issue. All these things we're describing, Google is doing this in Ghana, Microsoft is doing this in Ghana. The future is platforms, the future is AI. We have to be very careful not to get recolonized because the data you're talking about, the big data you're talking about, if, if it does not live in, in platforms that belong to Ghana or Ghanaians, then how does it benefit us? What are we selling? It is especially important because there's going to be, I predict, massive unemployment going forward. With the advent of AI, um, I think our politicians need to work closely or closer to, uh, with us in, in the industry. There's a lot of stuff going to happen. I mean, there's a, a greenhouse in Marseille a single greenhouse, which employs maybe 50 people. It produces 30% of all the tomatoes in France, each and every day. My friend in Ghana is putting one together now. I don't think many people are aware of it. Not aware. Very soon, it's going to be impossible for anybody holding a cutlass to compete with tomato production in this kind of arena. We have to be very, very serious, or we'll have social strife. Our youth population is the fastest growing in the world. We need a situation where national planning includes AI. Uh, I hear the education ministry buying books, as Moses said. We can do distance learning. The best teachers can be made to beam into the classrooms in the villages so that everybody has an equal share. Yet I hear, oh, schools under trees. We're building brick and mortar schools. This doesn't need to be the case. We have expertise in Ghana that can advise and that can work with public policy makers to guide, to make sure that these things happen.